Welcome to the Indigo Podcast, an exploration of human flourishing at work and beyond. I'm Ben Barron of Indigo Anchor and Cleveland State University. And I'm Chris Everett of Indigo Anchor. For more information, please visit us at www.indigopodcast.com. Ben, all right, I know I'm putting you up to this, but this is a righteous cause. So this is the second annual Vincent Day of Service, or what's the official term that you call it? Yeah, that's right. So we have the second annual Vincent William Barron Day of Service that is set for uh, September 24th, 2022. All right. So what is this Day of Service and why did you come up with this thing? Sure. So some of our listeners may recall that in November 2020, my seven-year-old son was hit by a car and killed while he was riding his bicycle. And in the months that came after that, um, my wife and I actually independently came up with the idea of perhaps doing a day of service in his memory. And part of that is because uh, Vincent, my son, he was named after St. Vincent de Paul, who is the Catholic patron saint of the poor and of charitable societies. And we wanted to do something that made the world better while at the same time remembering our wonderful, fierce, little joyful guy, Vincent. And so we did it for the first time last year. And you came out, you came to Ohio and uh, participated in the day. So what was your experience like last year and the, the, the inaugural Vincent William Barron Day of Service? Listen, it was so good. Anybody that gets to know the Barons on a personal level, there is nothing small about their ethical and moral statue or persons. And there was no exception with their son, Vincent, who I had the honor to know for a while. And, you know, you think, well, there's lots of like nonprofits, there's walks, there's the March of Dimes, there's Habitat, right? There's the landscape is full. But what was really interesting to me is that Ben said, let's not start our own institute. And if somebody that loses their kid, they can raise a lot of money. And I know that may sound a little bit brash here, but anybody would write a check for whatever Ben and Lindsay wanted to do. But they didn't want to sit on top of a pile of cash and just become some kind of staid institution that writes checks. Right. Instead, they said, we want you to get off your keisters. <laughs> That's, you know, get off your seat for those that don't know what keister is. And get out there and help your local charities. That's right. And it blew me away. So you think, okay, well, maybe the first year you'd get 100 people or something. How many people showed up that first year, Ben? Well, we had a variety of ev of events. We had... Uh, the walk. You had the walk, right? Right. So so we had... The, the big things we had is we had, um, we had a, a walk. It's called the Friends of the Poor Walk, which is actually a national event that happens every year through this, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. We had about 400 people show up to the walk, and then we had uh, more than 300 people who participated in in-person volunteer service opportunities that we arranged with a variety of nonprofits throughout our kind of greater local area. So quite an amazing turnout. Which you had planned, you had planned for how many? Well, initially, so it, we, we, we didn't really know what to do. So we, we kind of, we had about, you know, I think we had a couple hundred uh, slots open. And then as people started signing up, we were like, oh, well, we should probably open up a few more and maybe find a few more here. So it was a really good response from the community. And we also wanted this to be a an opportunity for people to go out there and do things regardless of where they live. You don't need to live in Northeast Ohio to go out there and volunteer and make your world a little bit better. Uh, we wanted to have th this become, and our vision really is for the Vincent William Barron Day of Service to be an ongoing, enduring annual event that brings joy and empathy and passion for life uh, to others through volunteer service. Um, and we want, we, our vision is really to make this one of the biggest days of focused volunteer activity in the United States. Um, I, I don't like doing small things. I like doing big things. But, but wait, let's, let's have some <laughs> like numbers proof. All right. So the first year you're planning for two. Yeah. And I remember like, I mean, I had a good time 
being out there and working. Mm-hmm. But we had so many workers for the task. Be- <laughs> and you can't turn people away. Right. And so it and it was fine, right? Like, but you know, you had an extra hundred people and it's really hard to execute. So probably so you, you expanded it. How many people how many slots did you open up this year? It just in Ohio. Right. So uh, and this is all yeah, this is all just uh you know, in the greater Cleveland Akron area of Ohio, we had 480 slots open and we just opened them to we're recording this here on Monday, August 15th, 2022. And we opened up uh, the website and everything um, and publicized it this morning. And by noon, we already had about two thirds of them filled up. Um, I just checked a little while ago and I think 71% of those slots are already filled. So we, um, we 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 have a pretty big response this year. You're killing it yet again, hitting home runs. Well, we aren't. We aren't. I mean, this is this. I think it's a it's a it's a testament to the fact that people want to do good things anyway, and, and that's what's really great. Like I, I, my wife and I, we don't we don't see ourselves certainly don't see ourselves as special or anything in any way. We're just trying to perhaps facilitate or open a door for people to do what they kind of want to do anyway. They just maybe don't know how, or they need an extra little um, bit of motivation or something to go out there and do something uh, to make the world better. And, you know, there are many nonprofit organizations, uh, especially in the United States, we have so many of them, and they all can use volunteers. Now, some of those volunteers, um, I mean, it has to be done in a, a coordinated way. So what we do is we work for a long time in advance. And my wife and um, some of her sisters actually work really hard on kind of getting this all set up in advance uh, because you don't just want to th- say, hey, nonprofit, here's 25 people. What are you going to do with them? You got to make sure it's all well organized and they actually know what they're going to do. We assign site coordinators to help make all of that work um, so that it's beneficial for the the nonprofit and it's something that's rewarding um hopefully for the people who do it yeah so basically everything you just said is nailing it when it comes to supporting nonprofits ben sorry i'm gonna have to disagree with you there you guys are doing a great job (laughs) well that's very kind of you and and you're helping the landscape of because these nonprofits have been rolling up their sleeves and doing the work in the trenches for a long time and it can be hard to get people you know, attract new people and get people excited about the kind of work that makes the community happen. Yeah. Right. If you want a community that's worth living in, it's always buoyed by a landscape of nonprofits. And that's what I dig about what the Barons are doing here. They're not starting their own thing, per se. They're they're plussing up the landscape that exists. Now, you don't if you don't live in the Cleveland, Akron, the, that greater area, never fear. Now, I went to see Ben because Ben's one of my me- best friends on the whole planet, right? And I, there was no way I was missing the first one. But my wife and some other people out here in Salt Lake City, out where we live, did something last year too. And we're going to expand those efforts out here. So if you are in Salt Lake or anywhere in Utah and you want to link up with us, reach out. But even if you're not in one of these two locations, there's people all over the world that can participate. And Ben, what should they do if, if they're not there in our where we live? What should they do to get involved? Great. So there are a few things that you can do. Uh, one of them is to, as you mentioned, go out there and do something, some sort of volunteer service project. And last year we had people from 15 different states who went out and did something and they let us know what they were doing. It, it was very cool, uh, you know, being a, a military person and having lived in a lot of different areas. We have friends kind of spread throughout the United States, and many of them got involved and did something. They, you know, went and cleaned up a park. They uh, went to a local homeless shelter and served a meal. They went to a food bank and packed um, and sorted boxes of food, things like that. And so I would say if you don't live near me, um, shame on you, because where I live is a really cool place. But if you don't, that's fine. And uh, there are many other great places, of course, to live. So um, go out there and, and do some sort of project. Do something intentional. Do an in, you know some sort of uh, volunteering type of activity. You can oftentimes find a nonprofit, and they'll oftentimes have on their website a volunteer coordinator or someone to contact that you can get in touch with to set that up. Or we have another option. Um, that we call find the Vinny in it. 
right? So as you know, uh, Chris, Vinny was just such a such a bundle of of joy and um, just just an amazing little kid. And um, we invite people to do something where they find the Vinny in it. They do something intentional and specific uh, with their family or with their friends. This could be just going out for ice cream and take a picture of it, put it out on in- Instagram or Facebook and hashtag Mighty Vincent um, so we can see what you're doing out there. Uh, go help a neighbor. Go donate blood. Um, d- have a, you know cannonball contest on the diving board at your local pool. I don't care what it is, as long as it's something that brings joy to other people, um, maybe helps people in some way, and uh, is something intentional. Uh, so that's that's our find, find the Vinny in it type of um, activity that you can do. So really the way I kind of like to talk about this in a lot of our communications is you can serve, you can walk. So that's that Friends of the Poor walk. And they have these all over the country, by the way. So you could go join one of those if you want. Serve, walk, donate, and we're not talking necessarily about money here. We have a whole um, uh, effort underway here in Northeast Ohio for donating specific, um, I think this year we're doing kids' shoes, boots, and toys um, that then are being uh, distributed out to those in need, Um, and then find the Vinny in it. So those are four different ways that you can get involved, and I encourage anyone who's interested to simply go to mightyvincent.org to check it out and learn all about what we're doing. And again, we're doing this, the main day is September 24th, 2022, but we're doing things in my neck of the woods on uh, the 23rd, which is that Friday, the Saturday, the 24th, and on Sunday, the 25th. What about if somebody wants to do something, but they also want to make a donation? Is there information there on the website for that kind of stuff? Like, what if somebody just does want to do the, you know what, I just want to write a check. Are, Are you turning them away? No, we're not. Um, <laughs> we have a uh, so we have a, a donor advised charitable fund called the Vincent William Barron Charitable Fund, and there are, uh, there's information about that on our website. Um, and what we're doing is anyone any donations that we receive in August and September, uh, we will take those donations and divide them up among the various uh, nonprofits that we've that we've partnered with for in in person service projects. So. Think, uh, you know, a variety of homeless shelters, um, Habitat for Humanity, I think's on there. We got um, just a variety of really cool uh, nonprofits out there that we're helping. So we divide that up. Last year, last year I think we we had about $10,000 that we divided among 10 different um, nonprofits. So we were able to say, hey, it was great working with you and providing some volunteers. And oh, by the way, here's a $1,000 check. And it was just a nice way to um, give back a little bit more. I would encourage everybody that just needs something in this space that says, I want to do something good for the world here, which is what this podcast is about, to get involved. Now, if you're in the Ohio, you know, the Cleveland, Akron, greater area, you know, plug in. Um, What's that website again, Ben? It's mightyvincent.org. Mightyvincent.org. Everything you need is there. And get, you can leave your email, right, Ben, on that website, and Mm -hmm. you will start getting and they they don't they're not going to harass you with like too many emails but you'll get some directions on the kinds of stuff that you need to be able to do and how you can kind of plug in to see you know what this looks like um nationally as it begins to unfold that's right and you can also check us out on facebook um or at mighty vincent and on instagram at mighty vincent baron that's b a r a n and uh you know like you said, Chris, this, our podcast and kind of, you know, the, the work that you and I do together, it really is about trying to elevate ideas that work and ideas that help us to flourish at, at work and beyond. And I think, um, you know, that what we're doing here with the Vincent William Barron Day of Service certainly is congruent with that that whole idea. Uh, you know, if there's there's anybody who who flourished in his short life, it was it was my son, Vincent. And um, you know, I think there's, there's a lot that we actually can, can learn from that little guy. And, uh, if we can go out there and, and make the world better while we do it, then, uh, I think that's a, that's a really good thing. So I invite anyone who's interested to check it out and to join us if you'd like. Yeah. And I think you get extra points if you have pictures of you with a plastic sword, because <laughs> anybody that knew Vincent 
as how many how many plastic swords should you have in the back of your t-shirt and the answer for him is all, all of them, them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he he uh my theory was that he was so he was small for his age he was only in like the second percentile for height and my theory was that he liked weapons particularly swords because they made him feel bigger and a little bit more powerful so yes <laughs> he 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 loves swords so yes if you take pictures of yourselves with uh with swords and hashtag mighty vincent that's Certainly some extra points. Now, if you if you want the max points, though. Oh, boy. You know what you have to do, Chris? No, let's hear it. Well, you, you, you got to do what I did and, and get uh, swords tattooed on your left shoulder. So um, that that's extra points. Hey, listen, if you get the, if you get the <laughs> tattoo, send us an email with the picture. And if Ben has got you like a free ice cream sundae. At the at the ice cream place of your choice in Hudson, is that fair, Ben? <laughs> you can have you, you get, can have a if you get swords tattooed. On yeah, your you can have an ice cream Sunday happy hour with one of the hosts of the Indigo <laughs> Podcast. If you get, but now you got to email because it's got to look a certain way, right? But yes, you can have a happy out ice cream Sunday happy hour for the tattoo. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'll <laughs> I'll I'll, uh, I'll give him that. You know, I but it all it all honestly, I, you know, I don't expect anyone to get get inked just for this. But anyway, it could be um, cool. It'd be like it um, could be. What was Indiana Jones? It'd be like the Society of the Cruciform Sword or something except it would be the Vincent <laughs> sword and these people have to do two days of service not one i mean i it could be a thing it could be a thing absolutely anyway thank you all for listening to us um on this please get involved if you have other groups or organizations that need to know about this this is mightyvincent.org feel free to pass this around um this is open source involvement um it's not a big top-down hierarchy as far as the organization um but get out there and do something good once a year if you and i i gotta say most people i know don't even get out once a year and this is a good yeah. good cause a good day of service to get involved awesome thanks so much